Hello and welcome to All Aboard and a brand new week. Uh, this week we're going to do a bit of a extended product highlight on some of our recent releases, restocks as well as some existing games within our range. We're going to kick off today with this week's game of the week that is Go Cuckoo. This is a delightful little dexterity game from the Beer Games, normally known for uh, big heavy heroes like uh, Bitoku. Uh, this one, we've got a fun, family-friendly game. So the object of the game is to uh, place the sticks in such a way that it uh, none of them knock any of the eggs out of the uh, nest. So it's a bit like pick-up sticks, just to sort of riff on that. Uh, comes in this beautiful autumnal themed uh, nest. Uh, really quirky characters on there. Uh, but absolutely great fun for uh, kids and the whole family. That is Go Cuckoo from the Veer Games, this week's Game of the Week. Uh, we also have some um, other restocks and uh, new releases. So on new releases, uh, we have got the next toolbox from Loke Battle Mats. This is the Veiled Dungeon. If you haven't seen these before, they've got two out at the moment, this and the Long Road. In these, they provide you with uh, 10 modular maps. So these are double-sided and they are uh, laminated so you can write on them and easily uh, wipe it away. And they provide you uh, overall uh, 20 uh, smaller maps that can be fitted together in any way. Uh, these sets also give you uh, an NPC and monster card deck so you have easy uh, access to those as well as uh, the adventure book itself. Not only containing a small adventure, sort of a mini campaign as it were, for you to uh, run through, but also contains a lot of tables um, and information for you to uh, create your own adventures. So this one, creating your own adventures within the dungeon, for example. Uh, great fun. I've got the long road uh, myself. I love the idea of uh, uh, encounters happening on the uh, on a journey. Uh, but if you like a bit of dungeon delving, we also do have the Veiled Dungeon available as well. Our next uh, new release is Ancient Knowledge. This is from Yellow Games and this is a tableau builder in which you are uh, creating monuments and crafting artefacts uh, to, uh, towards the objective of preserving your civilization. So all of your uh, monuments will have knowledge on them and as you progress through the game eventually those monuments uh, move uh, into the past and you're trying to make sure that you take all the knowledge from them that you can before that knowledge becomes lost in the past. A uh, really good game, I've already had a setup of it and it seems to flow quite well. We will be running our first game of this uh, this Wednesday at the uh, Board Games Club so that will be the uh, 4th of October um, so if you would like to join us for that uh, do let us know and we'll make sure that there is a space available for you um, I'd say that this one is uh, perfect for fans of uh, tableau building and engine building games but also if you enjoy uh, uh, civilization games like or civilization themed games like Seven Wonders then Ancient Knowledge is going to be one for you Next up on our new releases is the Herd Mentality and Booster Pack. So this has just come out and provides you with 200 more cards uh, to uh, expand your existing game. We also have the original back in stock as well with a couple of other bits which we will go over. Uh, Herd Mentality, for any who have not played before, is a kind of like party trivia game, almost trivia game, where you are... Uh, asked a question and you want to answer with the what you think the most common answer would be so for example uh, uh, best Christmas movie and you're not necessarily writing down what you think the answer would be but what you think the uh, rest of the crowd would answer everyone then reveals everyone with the majority gets a point if anyone is the sole person to have answered a different uh uh, answer then they get the uh, pink cow and are unable to win no matter how many points that they score really really good fun one of my favorite party games always goes down the tree we do have the original herb mentality uh, back in stock as well as the music and movies version as well uh, which 
uh, dedicates it entirely to the realm of uh, film and music media. Other restocks we have got from uh, Big Potato this week are Sounds Fishy. Uh, this is a game where you are trying to work out what is the real answer and which one are the fake ones. You're not only trying to work out which one is the real answer, but you're trying to eliminate those fake ones before you get to the real answer as well. A really fun game of trivia and deduction. Uh, we have the uh, full game back in stock as well as the travel game as well if you're looking for a smaller version of the uh, of Sounds Fishy. And finally, we've got Heckmech uh, here from uh, Big Potato. Heckmech is a really simple uh, dice rolling game, sort of set collecting game. Uh, your objective is to collect as many worms as possible. You roll dice and then you can uh, collect worms based on the results of your dice. But you want to be careful that you don't push your luck too far, you don't go bust, otherwise you don't get to collect anything. And if you already have worms, you in fact lose those worms uh, uh, that you have collected. Really, really good fun. A great one just to kick off the night, end the night. A nice filler. Uh, really, uh, really good fun. Hectic fun there. Uh, so that's a look at some of our new and recent releases. Uh, I do want to touch upon some existing games that we have in the shop. Just want to shine a little bit more light on those. So we're going to start off here with Tribes of the Wind. Now this game came out earlier this year, sort of, uh, towards the beginning of the summer, uh, and at the moment ranks as one of my uh, all-time games for 2023, sitting just behind the phenomenal After Us. Uh, if that hadn't been released this year, this would be my number one for the year. Uh, in Tribes of the Wind, you are uh, attempting to uh, repopulate the Earth. There's been a catastrophe and the Earth is polluted, and it's now up to you to get rid of that pollution uh, regrow the forest and reintroduce civilization back to the world. It does it via a very um, uh, unique or not used, often oft used uh, uh, mechanic in that you are uh, looking at the elements that your uh, neighbours have. So uh, each card has a different element to it, and those elements will and those cards will allow you to do a variety of different actions. Uh, but you'll be gauging what your opponents have as well. You only see the back of their cards, but you don't see the front. Uh, but uh, just that mechanic alone really uh, uh, adds a lot of uh, interconnectivity uh, between the players uh, where otherwise there might not be any. Uh, really, really fun game, really colourful as well. You're pursuing multiple objectives uh, to get to your end game. So, for example, everything is linked in this. It kind of represents the kind of real life ecosystem so you're uh, you need to build uh, your trees but you can't do that if you've got pollution so you need to get rid of your pollution uh, to do that you need to get fire to uh, burn off the pollution but you also need water to uh, grow your trees you then need your wind riders to get to those forests in order to repopulate them and then you've got a variety of other things such as uh, objectives that will help you get there uh, clan powers uh, and the monasteries as well. So everything really does play into each other. Really colourful board, doesn't get too cluttered either. And as I said, this is one of my top games for 2023. Uh, and you get a lot of game in this box for 44.95 as well. That is Tribes of the Wind. Our next one is a more recent release. This one came out not too long ago, CDSK. So that does stand for, if I can remember correctly, Curious, delightful, seasoned knowledge. Just the different categories in the game. This is a uh, trivia game, but with a little bit of a twist. So a bit like uh, Trivial Pursuit, you'll be moving around the board answering questions. However, in this one, when you land on a square, uh, you uh, have to rate yourself on that subject. So you'll be asked, for example, in this one, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you know Christmas movies? So you pick... 1 to 10 uh, if when you think you're a novice or an expert and then they will uh, give you a question at that ranking so they do get harder the further up they go but the reward is you move further spaces uh, uh, and get closer to the end goal really good fun a nice twist on the whole trivia thing because it gives a bit of ownership to the player uh, and to the team however you decide to play it really good fun I think this is going to be a big hit for 
Christmas. So if you are looking for your uh, party game, your trivia game uh, for uh, the family Christmas uh, get together after the meal, uh, do consider CDSK now. Our next one has been out for a little while with the shop um, and uh, is a great uh, tableau building strategic card game and that is Gosu X. So in this game you will be uh, working with uh, a deck of cards and you'll be playing out cards in a tableau. So you've got three rows here, level one, level two, level three. Over the course of the game you'll be using your actions to play down cards uh, or uh, uh, trigger card effect as you build up your tableau. Uh, once uh, both players have had all of their turns, we then go to the uh, military phase where you compare military might between the two sides. Uh, the winner gets one of these uh, winner tokens, victory tokens. Everyone then does a partial reset, starts up for the next one. It's a best two out of three games, so it's the first one to get to two points, uh, but it really is such a good fun game. If you enjoy uh, strategic TCGs such as Magic the Gathering or Flesh and Blood um, or you just love engine building games, tableau building games then Go X is one for you and the presentation this box is phenomenal lovely insert, uh, we've got premium uh, wooden pieces here the artwork and the uh, card designs are clear and crisp uh, very vibrant as well so if you do like your strategic card games uh, do consider giving this one a go, Gosu X. Our next one is another offering from uh, Devere Games, and this is Bamboo. Uh, so after the success of uh, Bitoku, uh, they've uh, come out with this one a few months ago. Bamboo sets uh, nominally in the same world as uh, Bitoku, but this one is a lot more accessible than that uh, heavy Euro there. So in this you are uh, part of a family of bamboo farmers and you are uh, basically collecting and gathering resources to complete a variety of different objects. So we can see on the uh, back there uh, the uh, boards and the player board. Uh, it's a much more accessible game so it's a great one for families if you are looking for a nice Euro game to play in the family. That is bamboo. And then finally, we have got uh, Fandelva and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. So this is the latest official D&D &D product to come out. Uh, this is a reworking of their uh, classic campaign, uh, Lost Mine of Fandelva. That was a short campaign that introduced players to the world of Dungeons and Dragons via their first starter set for 5th edition. Uh, in this, it reworks the campaign over the first four chapters, and then the new four chapters expand that story uh, into something uh, much more uh, uh, sort of epic and threatening to the players and to Fandlin itself. Uh, I can recommend this uh, for anyone that is looking to run their next campaign, whether you've run Lost Mine or not. It does give you everything in here. It does rework that slightly, as I said, because of the uh, new chapters in the campaign book. Uh, but uh, if you are looking for a new campaign to run, I can heartily recommend this, being able to revisit Fandlin and the uh, Lost Mine campaign itself uh, is more than enough to uh, grab a copy of this book. You also get a new updated larger map of uh, Fandlin and the surrounding Sword Coast area as well. So that is a look at admittedly quite a few products uh, this week, but we did just want to shine some love on some others that have been sitting on the shelves uh, uh, for uh, the last few months. So on to the weekly schedule. So uh, our uh, RPG club on Monday, we're actually starting up a new D&D &D group. Uh, that will be run by myself. Uh, we currently have two spaces uh, available for that um, and then as soon as those are filled we will uh, be running a uh, new group. Uh, this one is going to be more of a um, uh, association of uh, smaller campaigns and one shots and things like that. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that I want to run, so I decided that this group would be the best way to do that. I've got the Infested Building series 
uh, from Dark Realm Roleplay. We've got the first three books with the fourth on the way, and I've been wanting to run that for a long time, as well as some one-shots uh, from ND Hobbies. Uh, they do a lot of one-shots uh, via Kickstarter, and we've got a lot of those, and I'd love to run some of those as well, as well as some of the stuff from DM Dave. So it's not going to be a typical campaign, but we are going to be running through uh, one-shots and smaller campaigns as part of uh, as part of this group. So if you are uh, looking for a new group to join, maybe you're new to D&D and you don't know where to start, or you're a returning player, do get in touch, let me know, and we can uh, get you booked in on that. And that is running every Monday evening as soon as we have four players. Uh, Wednesday is our board games club and this week it looks to be a busy one. We've got a brand new D&D group starting. We also have a table for a one shot on Candela Obscura. We do have one space left for that. So if you are local to the shop and you would like to join in uh, with Candela Obscura, do let us know and we can make sure that space is reserved for you. For those who aren't aware, Candle Obscura is a new RPG system from Critical Role, the guys who basically blew D&D into the stratosphere. Uh, this is their uh, one of their first uh, self-published RPGs. We're really looking forward to seeing how it runs, and then we'll also be looking at running more in the future as well. And then on Thursday, we have got a bit of a change to our Thursday Nights Gaming in that we are introducing Lorcana to a new weekly competitive tournament. So that will be running in the old slot that Flesh and Blood was in. That will be 7pm until 10pm. It's £7.50 per person and we have eight spaces. So if you do want to come along to that, do make sure that you book to avoid disappointment. We do only have eight spaces at this time for it. So I wouldn't want you to turn up uh, out of the blue and, and not be able to uh, play a game of that. Um, and then on uh, Saturday is our uh, Saturday social. Just come along, uh, play some games with friends and family. We currently have two tables that are available for that. So if you would like to join in, do let us know. We can make sure we book you on one of those tables. And then we round out the week with the final week of uh, round two of our inaugural uh, Lorcana League. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, we just ran our second draft uh, yesterday. Everyone had a great time at that. And uh, we're looking forward to awarding you all some nice, lovely promo cards as well. Uh, to that end on Lorcana, uh, we are updating our uh, purchase limits uh, for customers. So we've obviously we've tried to be as fair as possible over the last uh month or so with people in regards to uh, what they can buy and making sure as many people do. Uh, we are sort of getting towards the end of our stock so we will be limiting it to people that just come along to our Thursday nights to play or to our uh, Sunday afternoons to play and that will just be the entry booster. So uh, you come along, you pay your £6 on Sunday, you get a booster pack on the Thursday, you pay your £7.50, you get a booster pack, and then for every two players, another booster pack is placed into the prize pool. So if you come along to both, you can get two, maybe up to three booster packs. Obviously, there's the promos as well, and we're not too far off, really, about six weeks from Rise of the Floodborne, where we'll have uh, even more new uh, cards for you, which we are very, very excited about. We do have the pre-orders open for that. They are limited quantities. So if you haven't pre-ordered yet and you would like something from this new set, do let me know. You can pre-order. We'll collect payment at the start of November uh, to secure your uh, order. And then when it releases on the 17th of November, you can come in from the launch day and collect. We're also running a um, launch event on the Friday. Uh, sealed uh, deck where you'll be given six boosters and uh, you build a deck from that. That is £30 uh, for that session. Again, if you haven't booked, do let me know because spaces are limited on that and I don't want you to uh, be disappointed turning up randomly out of the blue only to not have any space available. 
So that is everything for this week, as well as a little uh, look forward into the future for Norcana. If you have any questions about anything that we've discussed today or anything that we do in the shop, just chuck it in the comments below and we will get back to you. Alternatively, if you live nearby, just pop into the shop. We're always happy to see you and answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the boardroom.